Guess what? You're gonna be time traveling with me back into 2023. I know, I know. We're done with 2023. Why am I going back? Well, this vlog captures my life in mid October 2023. Hi, hello. I think I know you from somewhere. Are you CJT? <laughs> if you've ever wondered how life is for an average nigerian i'm going to tell you first and it's tough but you know what's tougher being a final year student in a nigerian university this is a video diary curated in the form of a time travel machine which shows you the life of a nigerian student in her final year trying to navigate life my hair. doing her project and seminar with days leading up to exam period side note this is one hell of a chatty vlog with a pinch of vulnerability so brace yourself for that <laughs> And I noticed something. Hi guys. Hey. So you should come yes, me. So you guys. So you are wearing the same color. I noticed that which department is this, please? Which department is this? What should we call this department now? Sir, sorry sir. Which department is this? This is PIC, pure industrial. This cannot be PIC. <laughs> Yes, it cannot be. Uh, yes, don't wear blue. You can call it oh, oh! I didn't get that. So you say what? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Show you guys my head from the last time you saw me. I was making my hair, or I was preparing to wash my hair, but now I made my hair. I'll show you properly when I'm not wearing my nightwear. I feel like you guys have seen me finish and I've seen my nightwear finish, so I'm going to show you properly when I'm all dressed and ready to leave for my test this morning. My test is by 11 a.m. Joyce is still sleeping, she's not having a test like me. <laughs> Anyways, I also have a shoot today with one world class youtuber like that she used to be a student in unn but like she's now a graduate so i can't say she's a unn student again but like we have this collab that has been in the works for quite some time i think it's finally going to happen today so i'm gonna take my tripod take my graph because i have to film my graph and submit it on friday tomorrow is friday take my book my materials and also like go and crash in my friends who still to study just before the test actually starts you get me speaking too much let's roll the clip i didn't show you guys this if you've not seen the room makeover video hopefully it has been uploaded sure yeah. but yeah i put out this vine lip stain temporarily though it's not permanent, sure. I don't know what I feel about it yet. Might change it. Might paint these things. Don't know yet. There's no light. I'm waiting for them to bring light so that I can boil water to use to bathe. Yeah, the cat is out of the bag. I never bathe without water. So. Joyce calls me chicken. I'll be foul at this point, but I don't care. I actually never bathe without hot water. I cannot stand cold water because I easily get cold. She says she's training me for Canada weather, but I don't care. I'll still use my hot water to bait. We don't have gas, so I'll kind of use gas to boil water. So my only option is for them to bring light. So hopefully they bring light on time so that I can leave on time. So, yeah. 
time is 11 22 pm and i'm drinking gary you've actually never seen this part of my life because sometimes I present myself as glamorous aesthetic but you know some nights you have to resort to this because there's no other alternative because life is going through you you're not going through life which my picking good since you're not good in one <laughs> Anyways, I'm about to add Milo to my gary. Today, I had tests. And my tests... My tests went so well. Like, in my history in this school, I've never written a test this good. But it's because it's one lecture as fast. And this one gave us AOC. And everything... Like, not everything, because she just gave, gave us three questions. The AOC actually came out. And it stood us to answer two from the three. But the entire three was even so simple. If you told us to answer the entire three, we would still get everything. So, we thank God for that. Anyways, I came to report to you that I'm drinking Gary. So that when I want to actually finally make it in this life. You know that, ah, I've been with this girl ever since those days that she used to drink Gary. <laughs> so I can tell my story with receipts. Oh, unpopular opinion. I don't like, like, granite as much. Granuts gives me the ick sometimes. Like, I cannot just stay, I just be eating granuts. That's just like not my thing. Peanuts are really not my thing, but it is just for the sake of eating it. <laughs> Why did you let pepper enter your eye? It just entered because it was like, wow, your eyes is such a beauty. I must enter and see what it looks like inside. It's probably enjoying the same time my eye right now. You'll be coming up with the weirdest shit ever. Anyways, I'm talking too much. And Jess is talking too much. And my guy is swelling up too much. Let me pour my Milo and consume this. And I have to stop all night to work on my graph book that I have to submit tomorrow. And my make 10 paper that I have to print out tomorrow. Like, I have to conclude everything I'm doing. If I'm writing rubbish in it. These people, they will not read it. So let me just finish up my work and get ready to print stuff tomorrow so i'm taking my laptop to school tomorrow and yeah the video i was supposed to film with the youtuber i'm collaborating with it did not work out today and i don't think it, it can work out again i'm just so tired of dragging this on and on and on and on i have a lot of school work i have a lot of school activities i've not been posting on youtube i'm sure a month and more than a month i've posted on youtube but like school calls and school is more important right now than youtube so yeah Anyways, bye. See you tomorrow. Peace. I'll keep my team brief. But things are not working out well for me. I mean, I should not be saying that because speak positivity and all that. But I cried myself to sleep yesterday. And I slept like early, let's say like 9 p.m. before 10 chair. My normal routine is like I'll sleep. Let's just say from 8 p.m to 12 a.m from 12 a.m to like 6 a.m i'll be awake but i cried myself to sleep early and then when my alarm rang from to wake up at midnight i still like turned it off and i still kept sleeping yesterday was just a shitty day for me i don't know if i'm allowed to say that but i i i just so <laughs> things everything has not just been working well in a nutshell the collaboration video I was supposed to do, I wasn't able to do it. Like, a lot, of, a lot of things are just going on. And yesterday, I'm going to tell you what happened yesterday that actually, like, now pissed me off and made me cry myself to sleep. First of all, my stomach is feeling like, but I'm going to actually say my mind. I'm going to speak my truth. I'm going to actually say what I want to say. Hopefully, this microphone lets me do what I want to do. Let me open this window. Tell me why. I've been working on this 10 paper for my Mac like 481 i've been working on this thing for like weeks now and we're supposed to meet last tuesday but thankfully the car chef was able to, to plead for more time so we're supposed to meet this coming tuesday today's saturday by the way so we're supposed to meet this coming tuesday they gave us one month to work on this thing before so it's p way past one month right now yesterday i, I finally like concluded because i went to the cafe to, to print it out basically sure but when i got there he had to install print on my laptop and i had to edit the document because it had some things i had to correct to cut long story short everything turned out to be 20, 24 pages when i was done then when i gave my laptop to the guy started working on it he did so many corrections and it turned out to be 
46 pages i'm like what excuse you why is that much that is because you used to point zero line spacing i think at this point i'm saying things that are irrelevant and things that you're probably not interested in to go long story short i printed the 46 pages and then i was just like why is it that much but then i told my friend favor saw it and she's like they said it's supposed to be a maximum of 15 pages and i'm like why did i not know this why did i not ever hear anyone say this how am i just finding out that's supposed to be maximum of 15 pages when i already printed out 46 pages 10 paper i was so like confused because first of all i used my last money to print out that thing how am i even supposed to redo it even if i'm going to edit it the problem is not editing it and taking out things from the work my life is going so beautifully i even just figured out right now that i have a test 11 a.m on monday chem 451 i'm just over everything let me summarize my life for you in a nutshell lately it's been me writing tests trying to meet up deadlines for my seminar trying to write my mech i don't even know i'm even doing a mechanical engineering course self. trying to write up my mech 481 10 paper trying to also meet up for the submission of my graph for my chem practical a lot of things have just been happening i don't even do youtube or do social media anymore because obviously this is not even a good time if i don't want to feel this is not a good time <sighs> talking about feeling self lately i've just been in my head and because like reality is beginning to hit me that all this is going to be over soon like in my final year and right from my first year up to now like it was just in this my final year that i checked my my CGP and god i'm so ashamed of myself i can't even tell anybody what my current CGP is because it's just so freaking embarrassing <sighs> anyways i'm trying to just do the best i can i've always been doing the best i can but you know when you're doing your best you're putting in so much effort but then you have nothing to show for it because it's not even reflecting in your results that is my life in a nutshell in this school nobody can even look at my results and say nah this this guy has been reading this guy has been going to sleepless nights this guy has been going for night class nobody can actually know how i've been suffering and putting in so much effort yet there's nothing to show for it it's not as if i'm a dumbass person but god knows i try my best God knows this country is frustrating, this school is frustrating. But you know, I'll keep on trying. That's just it in a nutshell. I'm just stuck up on this thing now because I have to re edit it. So I was talking to my friend yesterday night about it. And he's like, if you want them to read your work, you have to re edit it, shorten the line spacing, take out unnecessary things, and print it out again. Does that mean the one five I spent printing out these 46 pages is going to waste? absolutely i just cried myself to sleep because everything has just been so overwhelming plus i just wasted money on this one that i'm not going to submit then i have to redo this one today saturday i have between today and tomorrow to print it out because i have to study for my test on monday jesus i'm just a human being i'm just a girl i know you're tired of hearing me talk i'm just going to stop here pray for me this is probably the first of many nights i'm going to cry myself to sleep i've always heard that final year is not easy but now that i'm actually living in it and experiencing it now i understand what they've been saying anyways see you hi well 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 i am about to go quick to content today is sunday but i have a shoot with Yunis and chipmunk remy rainbow action so i've spent the whole morning by the way i did not go to church i still not found a church i spent the whole morning sorting out like clothes and outfits because we're doing this color coordinated outfit thing where you do i want to leave now i did the pattern on my tiktok and instagram but we're through that easy but now i do that too because due to like test exams and stuff like that our third party could not join us for it anyways i'm all dressed and i'm about to fold my clothes put it inside the bag and actually head out 
Yeah, let's go. <laughs> yeah, guys, we're right here. After several hours, the time is actually four o'clock now, but that's filming. I mean, shooting. This is the model for the day. Look at her outfit. Oh my gosh, she looks so freaking good. And she's carrying my property and my tripod. I love everything about what she's wearing. Hopefully, the pictures turn out well. Yeah. Guys, this one is so high. Anyways, is this is this your room? Well, this is background. How's this? How about the facing here? Is this like that? Facing here. Yeah. No, the sun is coming from here, so you cannot face it. Like you stand here, and I'll be facing from here. That kind of thing. I read in the library and we're here to create content. We this have <laughs> We have this small, don't tell anybody. We're going to read this night, all night, as always. You guys, this is about to rain. It's about to rain and we've never finished. This is like the third house and Maria. Oh my god. Do you like where I pack my hair? Do you remember all the good times to sweet love? So let me show you the setup. The rain just finished falling. I mean I don't know if it's done falling shit, but this is where I position that stuff. Bro, there's a whole story time about this this entire experience because one man came to, to meet us. One man came to meet us and he was telling us what's in Anunu. I was just telling him, sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sorry. The man was just asking me so many questions. And the man was like, what departments are you in? Who gave you permission to do this here? Did anybody instruct you to do this here? Did you take permission from anybody? Da, 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 da. I was just saying, sir, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sir. Please forgive us, sir. She not to travel. Are you her, madam? Are you her, or are you beating the man talks? Are you the yoga? We come and go in time. I would love to infinity beyond. Now we're together. We are stardust in the universe. Another day, another sleep. This time we have audience. We have audience. Don't stupid mistakes. So I see my glow. We're wrapping up today, so I could not finish yesterday. So here for the last time. Viva and I basically used two days to create a week's content and that's because we have tests and exams are gradually approaching. So even with our busy schedules, we just try to make things work. I know it's low-key funny that I'm posting videos from last year October in January 2024 but I want you to bear with me because a couple more of the videos I'm going to upload are still going to be from last year and this is me officially saying Happy New Year to you. I know it's better late than never, right? Thank you so much for sticking with me every year. 2024 is already a big year for me and I hope it is for you too. And I'm grateful for my friends too because they are always there, they've always been there. And I'm grateful for you in particular watching this video right now. I love you so much. We are stardust.